You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest here. Jesus Christ, I look like a wreck, literally. I'm trying to angle my camera upwards. Hi. <laughs> um, it's too early. This whole New Jersey, California schedule. Not really liking it. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm always the only one awake in my household. I mean, then again, I don't expect anyone to really get up at 4 a.m. just for the heck of it, you know? Kind of irrelevant. Sorry, I'm like really slow this morning. I am going to cue the intro and I'll be back. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's a freaking great day to have you, dude. It's 4 in the morning. Okay, so actually not exactly. It's 4.38 in the morning. Um, I woke up at 4 to get ready. So I just wanted to take you guys along today on a little vlog. I have a few things I'm going to be doing today and give like a little back to school haul. You know what I mean? I really don't have a lot and I was originally going to dedicate like a back to school haul like for its own video. But then I was like, dude, I got like one thing. So I'm just going to show that on the vlog and then it's really it. Take you guys along. Like I said, I'm kind of doing a lot today. My hair is disgusting. Not really. I take that back. That was really mean of me to say. My hair is frizzy is what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, it's just a short little intro. I'm actually going to hurry up. I want to go make espresso because I got my espresso machine for a reason. I'm going to use it. Mm. Uh -huh. Dude. Freaking water kills it every time. I'm not kidding you. It's so good for no damn reason at all. Okay. We're gonna have to be quiet. Because everyone's asleep. Oh, also. Hold on. Okay, so this is my outfit. I decided to go a little gray on gray moment. It's really not that cute. So, Vacation Bible School, I was like a little leader for it. Mm -hmm. And I have some gray leggings. Yeah, I just did it to to really just get myself out of my pajamas, okay? So don't worry, when I leave my house, I will not be looking like this. Unless it is to work out, I might just wear this. God, why? <sighs> I just don't look good. Then again, it's 4 a.m., so... <laughs> Cut me some slack. Okay, I have 20 minutes. Okay, so for those of you that um, don't know, I'm deathly afraid of the dark. I'm 19 years old, and I'm really afraid of the dark. If that doesn't scream help, I don't know what does, girlfriend. So I'm going to show you guys a little tutorial, but it's probably going to be too long, so I'm probably going to cut it out, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of doing it. So. God, I look fat too. Oh. Okay, so here's my espresso machine. Okay, and then I get this little cup. It helps me me it, it, it helps me measure two cups of espresso or four cups. So I'm gonna do two or two shots. Sorry, I probably sound so uneducated about espresso, but no, I meant two shots. Okay, so I pour it in, and then I get my espresso. Hold on. So this is the espresso that I use, cafe. You know what? I've butchered so many things, I'm not going to even try. Um, I've tried a different one. It's like in a grain can. It was okay. This one's okay. I'm thinking of trying the Starbucks one next, so. So, I'm going to open this. Ooh, bad boy up. And then this is where it gets like fancy Nancy. It's crazy. I get a scoop. And there's little indications on here. Two and four, so like two shots or four shots. I do like two and a half. Mm, no, I do two. And I pat it down a little bit because I don't know, it's really what you're supposed to do. 
I don't know what it does. It compacts the coffee. I don't really know. Okay. So then I get this. And I latch it onto here. Okay. So this is where it gets hectic because I'm going to be doing multiple things at once. So this is my milk frother. Got it on Amazon. It's amazing. I love her. If anybody's interested in one, I'll link it down below. But this is probably the most amazing thing ever. The espresso machine itself has an, uh, what is it? A milk frother on it. But it's really messy and it's really difficult to use. So this is it. So, hold on. So I'm really trying to stray away from dairy here. And the other day I made my own oat milk and it's really good. But I'm not gonna use oat milk right now. What I'm gonna do, or is what I do, this is dairy. And I know it's not good for me, but I'm gonna use it. Oh crap, what's the date? Okay. So, oh my god. I'm kind of stressed now. So I fill this up to the minimum line. Maybe like a little bit over it. And then, because this froths really well. And then I get my um, creamer. I usually get hazelnut. Hazelnut is fire, but we have this one. And then I fill this up to the max line. It's only a little bit. So then there's a cold setting, and usually I use that for matcha. But right now I'm gonna use a hot setting, but I'm gonna go turn that on, let it brew a little bit, and then turn this on so they're done around, you know, at the same time. So hold on, hold on. So now that my milk is frothed, ooh, fire, look at her. She's all frothy. Okay, so now, I'm gonna give you guys a little close up, hold on. Okay, what I do now is I get a little bit of milk i usually get almond milk but since i have my little oat milk i'll put some in okay and then i do the slightest bit of creamer like that much and then i put a little ground cinnamon okay and then i get my frothed milk oh look at this Oh, did I make too much? That makes me really sad. I put a little bit more cinnamon. And that's my little matcha latte. Or not matcha, espresso. Now I need to hurry up because I have five minutes to get my butt in class. Oh my god, my forehead looks so big. Okay, so now that I'm going to be late to class, it's great. I got a banana. Going to eat it. It's just zoomed in. Yeah. I need it with some Trader Joe's cookie butter. It's so good. Just saying. Okay. Do a little tasty testy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry that I have a little milk mustache. It's okay. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Did I even say that right? Oh my god, I'm so Okay, little update. Um, I didn't get into my class till 5.30, and turns out there was like a link that the three of us in the little team meeting didn't know about, which is really frustrating, because I don't know how everybody else had the link but me. Um, so I didn't get until 5.30, but my professor didn't say anything. I don't even think he takes attendance, to be honest. But that happened. I finished my coffee. I've been drinking like this is my, like, my third glass of lemon water. Filling up my fourth. So that's exciting. He let us out a little bit early. It's 7.15. Yeah, we we're supposed to get out at 7.30. So as of right now, my next class is at 8. And I'm going to study for my... What? Oh. Ooh. I'm going to study for my permit test because I'm not trying to fail. I want to get my permit. I know how to drive. I drive. But because I don't have any like legal documentation, my mom kind of stresses out because she's like, what if something happens? And then she gets her license taken away and then I can't get my license type of thing. So yeah, but I'm a pretty safe driver. It's pretty fun. So I'm going to study for my permit test for the next 45 minutes until my next class. And I'll see y'all party people. <laughs> Later, skater. Oh crap. 
Wow. Okay, so I did a little outfit change. I ended up having my organic chemistry lecture, but I didn't film anything because it's kind of pointless and I filmed a lot last video, so you guys kind of get the gist of it. But basically, I changed my little outfit because I'm not sure if they're going to be taking a picture here at the DMV. I doubt it, but I'm here. I'm scared. I'm going to be taking my permit test. But I feel more confident definitely than, than I did sophomore year because since then I've been driving. So it kind of like gives me like hands-on experience. So I've been doing pretty good on all the practice tests and I'm excited. But the line is so long so we're gonna be waiting here for a while. A long while. And then I also have matcha. My brother's girly friend brought me some matcha which was really sweet of her. I just have to pee really bad now. But with that, I will keep you guys updated. I'll let you know if I've passed my permit test. And I'll be skirting around here. But, all right, well, we're gonna get going. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Mm, okay. A little update for everyone. Yeah, I have the shot right here. So, the DMV this morning. Looking back at this, I actually want to get my head and bash it against the window because my hair was so annoying. Oh my god. I mean, it's annoying now. But like in that clip, it was like in the bun and then you see the hair like all sticking up. Dude, it was not cute. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Like every single time I go back and I watch it and I'm editing it. I like actually want to throw myself out the car because it's disgusting and it bothers me so much. I just want to point that out. And if it bothers you as much as it bothers me, I'm truly sorry. I'm truly <laughs> freaking sorry. <laughs> okay, enjoy. Was, oh, I can't even put my spoon. The DMV this morning was technically at full capacity. So I couldn't go in today. I'm gonna try and go in tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And then we had to come out to a completely different city from where I live and go to the doctors. So that's taking quite some time. It's taken like three hours maybe. So we just got done at the doctors and I got Chick-fil-A. My dad's enemy, he didn't even get Chick-fil-A, he got Wiener Schnitzel, which is actually really good, but he's so anti-Chick-fil-A, he didn't even get Chick-fil-A. But my mom got it, and she got like the cool chicken wrap. Look at it. Ooh, that looks really good, mom. Wait, you can't even see it because it's so like... Let me get all up in there. Oh yeah, that looks good. So she got that, and then I got chicken nuggets, and they have a new like mango passion fruit. Jeez, it's so dark. Uh, like a mango passion fruit, what is it called? Tea? Tea lemonade or something? So I got that and I'm really excited. I'm starving. But I'm gonna eat and I'll see my camera at home for my little like that, haul. But in a sandwich. My little back to school It's haul. not, you know, everybody mm, was thinking it was gonna be the breaded chicken. That's a better image of it. Cause it wasn't showing up before. Okay, hi everyone, I'm back home. It's 7.30 now. I just got done working out. It was fun and I have hair everywhere. I'll be right back. I've been honestly working out later in the day because I have class really freaking early and then by the time I'm done with class, it's like 90 degrees outside. So I wait till about six, seven o'clock when it's about 85, 82 maybe. And yeah, so I worked out today. It's crazy, I have my water. A little ASMR action for you guys. I've been so thirsty lately. <clears throat> that was disgusting. So, I'm here to give you guys a little back to school haul. So, I, was I out of focus this whole time? I really don't know. Um, so I really didn't purchase a lot of stuff because I'm not physically in school. I don't know. I just didn't need a lot of stuff. I mean, college is very different compared to like elementary school and high school where they give you like a supply list. It's kind of like up to you, whatever you want to do. So, I mean, I purchased my books. That was a lot, but like as far as school supplies, not really. So I'm going to start off with my handy dandy planner. 
I got this from Walmart for like almost $10, a little bit under $10. Um, I absolutely love it because you open it up and what is it called? And it has tabs for the months and you just open it up. We're in September. These are my assignments all right there. And then I like that it has this little note section on the side. Oh wait. Yeah, this little note section on the side. And then if you turn to the next page, it goes by days and then you have these whole this whole like rectangular sections look at my eye <laughs> it has these like rectangular sections that you could write for like the whole month so I really love this planner I got this brand for last year for freshman year and it was amazing I loved it so I had to get the same brand because I was really happy with it and I utilized all of it, literally all of it. So that was really good. I got this. Um, my biology notes, how cute, huh? So, also from Target, I got some. I need a burp. That was all muted, by the way. And I want you guys to know <laughs> that it was freaking disgusting. Okay, so I got these. They're markers. I got them from Walmart for like $4.50 or something like that. I was looking for colored pens, but I had a few from like last year that I was fine with. And then highlighters really, not these aren't highlighters, it's like markers really help me like emphasis, emphasize like notes. And that's also gonna be an upcoming video, like how I take notes, how to take notes for studying, things like that. I'm gonna have that all coming up in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. I'm really excited because I love, I'm gonna sound like a nerd, but I love note taking. I love being organized with my school stuff. I love being organized in general. So that's gonna be coming up soon. But this just really helps emphasize any important notes that I have. It's not like a, I mean a highlighter could work too, but like I feel like you're so limited sometimes with highlighters. So I get these and yeah, it's pretty good. The only thing is that they aren't really like good for writing because they do bleed through the paper. It's more for like, unless you have really thick paper, but like lined paper really isn't good. Printer paper like this, I mean it's fine, but um, it does bleed through if you press too hard, so you do have to be very careful. I only use it for like um, underlining things, things like that. I'll show you guys in my upcoming video, but I got this, pretty convenient. Um, I have this notebook right here. I didn't buy it this year. I bought it like junior year of high school. I used a little bit for one of my classes, but um, just reduce, reuse, and recycle, you know what I mean? It's my biology notebook because, you know, plants, life things like that so I've had this for a while this notebook right here it says Mount Sac it's a community college um, my brother used to go there my mom used to go there so this was kind of just a leftover notebook he's my brother has written in a few pages but like two pages or something like that so again reduce reuse and recycle this is my calculus 2 book notebook so it's pretty cool um we're gonna go into this this is my uh, organic chemistry lab textbook too damn expensive this is my biology book it's nice and hefty it's probably thicker than my whole entire skull but it is what it is right biochemistry major that's the life this is my calculus 2 book well it's like one calculus book but like the first half is for calc 1 second half is calc 2 it's my laptop charger it's my school laptop I have two laptops one for school it's given to me by the school kind of not really because I pay for it anyways through in, like through the tuition so but I do have two laptops one for school one for like personal use so it's my other notebook um again I've had this since like sophomore year but it was just kind of it was brand new and in my back room so this is for organic chemistry lecture yeah it's pretty scary so I have an organic chemistry notebook like through my college coming in. It's like a physical lab notebook, but this is the lecture notebook for organic chemistry. That's fun. This is my sociology book. You know what's really funny? Okay, so this is my sociology book, right? Pretty small. It's not like your average textbook. Oh my God, I haven't even looked through this and this has so many words. Okay, so the notebook I chose for sociology is also like a miniature and I didn't even realize. It's like crazy, they're almost the same size. It's like a mini notebook, but again, I've just kind of had it laying around. So I'm like, you know what? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. I honestly did not buy a lot of supplies this semester. Just kind of wanted to give a little, you know, haul. But it's my sociology notebook. 
pretty cute. These are my sociology notes. Oh, how nice. Not really. I hate my handwriting. And last but not least, oh my god, my organic chemistry textbook. Yeah, she's nice and hefty like my biology one, so pretty scary. Um, also, my biology lab textbook is going to be coming in with my organic chem chemistry lab notebook. And then also biology lab notebook. I think I can use whatever. They haven't said anything about lab, to be honest, but that's a little haul. I don't know if it was boring or not, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I'm, like, using this semester. Nothing too much. I have my pencil pouch from, like, sophomore year of high school. Works perfect. I got it from, like, Target or something. And all my little pens. I have wide out from Office Depot that, again, I've had since, like, freshman year. I have, like, highlighters. I really don't use them except for the yellow one I use a lot. I have a lot of colored pens from over the years. Just a lot of like, just writing utensils, you know what I mean? So that's my little haul. I mean, nothing too special. Again, I didn't want to dedicate a whole video to just giving a haul because I really didn't have a lot and I got through it in like five minutes. So that's the tea, guys. But with that, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of homework. It's about 7, 7.44, so I'm gonna do some homework and then catch up on a few things. I'm gonna shower because I worked out and then I'm gonna go to bed soon because I have to be up tomorrow. Okay, party people. I put like oil and stuff all over my lips and it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. But let's see, a little update. It's about it's 11.45 at night, so I need to go to bed because I have class. I have to be up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. That's not fun, um, but a little recap. All I did was my math homework. I did like a biology like practice test run type of thing. It was so crazy. I had to do like a room scan. I had to give like my professor like a whole house tour. Like seriously, I have to show them the table, to show them under the table, the chairs, make sure I'm not cheating, the walls. Um, I mean, it was just a practice exam for our real exam, but I had to do that, so. And last minute, my grandma came because she just wanted to spend the night. So I'm gonna go lay down with her and sleep there in the back room tonight, which I'm excited about because I love when my grandma spends the night. Because she's such a grandma, you know? It's pretty cute. But with that, it really does wrap up today's video. I feel like it was kind of everywhere, but I'm hoping it comes together. I gave you guys a little haul, showed you me going to the DMV, but then I couldn't really get in. And then we went to Chick-fil-A because I went to the doctors. And it was a huge old thing. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to go ahead and follow me on all my social media, that'll be linked down below in the description. If you want to keep up with me and the boring things that I do, you could go ahead and follow me. And with that, always make sure to share it with your mom, share it with your grandma, share it with your dog, and share it with anyone you can possibly think of. Also, <laughs> this white stuff on my face, it's like all this acne stuff, and then I'm my retainers in, this is oil, and I'm a mess. But with that, I'll see my camera on Wednesday, I think. Yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>